Hey guys, welcome back to Review A Day. Today we are going to talk about this volume, Conan, Born on the Battlefield. It's actually volume zero of the Dark Horse series, recently released. Um, here's the deal. It's by Kurt Busaic and Greg Ruth is on art. I have never been a big Conan fan. No particular reason. I just never have seen any of the movies, which is surprising because I love the Schwarzenegger. Uh, and I've never read any of the comic books. I've never read any of the Robert E. Howard books. I just had no interest in it because, you know, he's a barbarian. You kind of know what it's about. He's going to slash some people, say, I am Conan, and stabby, stabby, the end. This is really good. Uh, in fact, I would even go as far as to say this is one of, if not my favorite thing that Pusaic has ever done. I, I like him. He's a good writer. He's a solid writer. Just his superhero work in general feels very generic to me. Um, I don't really feel like he's doing anything new with it. Uh, he does a solid job. It's enjoyable. It tells a story. It feels like a Superman story or a Batman story or whatever you prefer, but it's not blowing you out of the water. The great thing about this is that works perfectly for Conan, uh, where you know it's a licensed property. You know it's a story that's been told a million times. This particular show is from the birth of Conan to the time that he leaves uh, Chimeria uh, to go on, obviously, to become Conan the King and whatnot. Even if I've never read it, I have a big idea of the story. Um, it works in his favor because it is a very generic story, and so he doesn't have to worry about the story. It lets him delve into character and really put these great silent character moments on there. You don't just get a grunting one-word Conan. You get somebody who you can see a lot of uh, thought going on, a lot of self-reflection, and that's both in the writing and also in the art, which um, is great. It's really good. It's very, uh, there's a lot of brush strokes involved in it, which obviously works very nice for blood splashing, things like that, but also works well because there's a lot of forests in there. And it, it took a little while to get used to, to be perfectly honest, because the first couple of pages are by a different artist uh, that is very expressive. I don't actually know who it is because it wasn't listed in there, but I believe it's the regular Conan artist. Uh, just to throw this out, I could be wrong about this at all, but I believe this is a collection of stories that happened as fill-in issues in the main Conan series that Kirk Busaic uh, wrote. And these are collected for the first time together in order in this volume. They're almost like the Times Past stories in Sandman in a certain way. Uh, and they're great. This is a really good intro point for Conan, as I said. Kurt Pusaic writing really well. One of the things that's wonderful about it is it's stories about stories about stories, essentially. Uh, but everything ties together nicely at the end. And each of the issues, however they were released, ties into a very nice volume. And it really feels like very succinct chapters throughout. Uh, I definitely recommend picking this up. If you can't afford a hardback, which I totally understand, wait until the soft back comes out, soft cover. I think that's what we call it in America. And uh, yeah, if you've had no interest in the Conan character like I have not, then I still recommend picking this up because it's a great intro to the character and really nice work. And as I said, Kirby Sake does a kick-ass job on it. So that's it for Review Day this time, and I will see you guys tomorrow.